the Human Disease Ontology Project presents Clinical Applications of the Human Disease Ontology The Human Disease Ontology serves as the term source for standardized disease terms, allowing for the unification of terms, cross-referencing, mapping between clinical vocabularies, and the standardization of disease data. Accordingly, the ontology functions as a controlled vocabulary, enabling standardization of not just terms but their related data. The human disease ontology connects diseases through an etiology-based hierarchy, thus enabling clinical resources to view genetic variants, phenotypes, antibodies, and T-cell epitopes across related diseases, index clinical case reports, share analysis of variants across medical diagnostic laboratories, and develop clinical decision support systems. Numerous clinical resources and tools utilize the human disease ontology, and examples of clinical use cases include Metadata acquired from clinical case reports, which indexes clinical case reports, the variant interpretation for cancer consortium, and clinical interpretations of variants in cancer, which enable genetic variant interpretation, and the infectious disease diagnosis and antibiotic prescription, which identifies antibiotic therapy options in an AI-driven clinical decision support system. Let's look at how the human disease ontology is enabling clinical resources with some examples in greater detail. Variants in Cancer integrates a number of knowledge bases to standardize cancer variant knowledge and enables precision oncology based on human disease ontology disease terms. Clinical interpretations of variants in cancer utilizes the human disease ontology to standardize diseases, for example, acute myeloid leukemia. The ontology-driven reports-based phenotyping from unique signatures was designed to phenotype electronic health records wherein a clinical phenotype would be the presentation of a disease in a given individual. Electronic health records were mined using human disease ontology terms, and human disease ontology terms including respiratory system disease, diabetes mellitus, and congenital heart disease were used to annotate 351 abnormal laboratory tests and then used to generate signatures for 858 diseases. The Canadian Open Genetics Repository collects, stores, shares, and analyzes genetic disease variants reported by medical diagnostics laboratories across Canada. Clinically significant variants were linked to human disease ontology disease terms to avoid redundant disease naming. For example, the synonymous terms glycogen storage disease type 2 and Pompeii disease. The JAX Clinical Knowledge Base integrates standardized cancer research data and clinical oncology-related patient data to aid in therapeutic decision-making. The human disease ontology facilitates precise disease term mapping to patient diagnoses. The ontology's hierarchy of terms is leveraged to search and view data. The hierarchical nature of the ontology allows for the return of the chosen disease term and its child terms when querying a cancer term. Links and references to the resources mentioned in this video are available below in the video notes. Hopefully, you found our description of the human disease ontology clinical use cases helpful. Please like us and subscribe. This video was brought to you by Lynn Schrimmel and the Human Disease Ontology Project. Funding for this project is provided by the National Institutes of Health, National Human Genome Research Institute, grant number U41HG008735-01A1.